Yeah, I think we uh, I think we have a chance to have a pretty good football team. You know, a year ago we knew we were uh, we had some returning players that we thought we'd be pretty good, but we knew we had a really big class of uh, of kids coming in. And uh, a year ago at camp, we had more kids who were new to the Cal U program than had been here in the past. This year is totally the opposite. We're only adding about 20 kids. Uh, we're in our normal recruiting cycle. Uh, we had 60-some uh, kids out for spring football. Uh, we'll have more of a veteran team. Uh, I think we're, we got a chance to be a pretty good offense, uh, offensive line-wise. We're led by Jack Amber Crombie and a, a good group of, uh, of kids there. Uh, I'm really excited about our tight ends. Des Green and uh, and our tailbacks, you know, Nick Grissom and Derek Fury should be excellent. Gary Brown, Kwan, Scott outside should be very good. And uh, James Harris, at quarterback, you know, he started the last five or six games for us a season ago. Uh, continued to have, with the starting job throughout spring ball, we'll going to camp as our number one guy. We expect big things from him. And defensively, uh, you know, Jawan Turner and Asante Patton and the, 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 the Damon Pierce, those kids who we recruited a year ago as freshmen are now going into their sophomore years or their redshirt freshman years. You know, Bronco Busek is, is back going into, you know, it's the setting out of the year, he's coming back as a better football player for us now. Uh, Spencer Lynn is going to his senior year, you know, it seems like he's, uh, you probably hear his name and think he's been here forever, but that seems like he just got here. You know, in our secondary, he's a pretty veteran group now. Jordan Bowman, a kid we signed two years ago, had seven starts last year as a freshman, is now our starting free safety. So we're excited about the future and, uh, and uh, this upcoming season. You know, you really have to wait and see, uh, see during camp. Uh, this is not a class like it was a year ago where we really felt we needed an influx of talent. Uh, a lot of our key uh, newcomers were kids who, who transferred in at mid-year who were waiting to see what happens with them with either eligibility or, or a couple things. So it's kind of a tough question. Um, you know, this class will be important to us. I don't know that there will be an impact freshman. I mean, Kevin Slazak from, uh, from Upper Franklin Regional, Adam Ahoke, those are two good-looking kids on the defensive side of the ball that we're excited about. There are a couple more kids because of grade situations who I think will be impact players down the road who we will redshirt this year, and I really don't want really to get into all that. Luke Radchek, Corey Bopp, two outstanding outside linebackers, one we signed from uh, West Fairmont in uh, Fairmont, West Virginia, the other one we signed from North Hills up here in Pittsburgh. We're excited about those guys. So we feel we got some guys that will be impact players, some newcomers to the program, but they were more the mid-year transfer guys than this year's freshmen. This will be a normal freshman class for us. Some kids that we'll bring in, we'll redshirt some of them, we'll, we'll see how some of them do in fall camp. It's not really a matter of who gets acclimated to college football the fastest. You know, it's just got to come together. I mean, it's weird because we've got a lot of returners, but the vast majority of them are either sophomores or freshmen. So it's it's a young team, but yet it's a, it's a team that's been around a little bit. It, it's a matter of how fast can they gel together to become one good team. How well can they play offense, defense, kicking as a unit and not be individuals? I really thought we made great strides with, strides with that last winter in our condi winter conditioning program. Uh, I thought spring ball went excellent. We've had a very good summer. Um, it's a matter of how kids come together in August as a team and, and bond quickly so they can get through that tough schedule we're going to have. You know, our players often get caught up in that, the wins and the losses. You know, this is going to sound very cliche, and as a coach, uh, you you kind of you have to think this way. Our biggest goal right now is just getting the camp and getting the plane off the ground, and and kind of growing together as a unit. If we have a good camp, then we'll worry about those games one at a time. I mean, we open up with Virginia State. They're a very good football team, extremely athletic. Uh, I've watched them all summer on tape. Uh, it's going to be a tough challenge for us, and then it doesn't get any easier when we go to you know, the PSAC East opponents with Bloomsburg at Bloomsburg. I mean, historically a, na a national power. You know, Shippensburg at Shippensburg. You know, the last few years they've been a playoff team, a very good football team, very well coached. All, all three of those teams are very well coached. And that's not even counting when you get to your league and have to play Mercyhurst and Slippery Rock and IUP and, and all the teams in the PSAC West. I mean, there, there's really no off weeks. So to say that, you know, Six and five, or seven and four, or eight and three, or eleven and zero is your is you know success. I mean, it's really how well can you handle that adversity? If our team could handle the adversity of coming together as a team, going through that schedule, playing them one at a time, at the end of the year we'll have we'll have our share of wins. There's no doubt about it.